Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. It is Divinely a Goddess, or shall I say, welcome back for those of you that are not new here. We are going to be getting into these channeled messages with spirit, okay? So if you found this video, it is not by chance. If you are watching, it is not by chance. We are going to be looking into the spirit and seeing what messages you guys need to know at this time. Okay, so make sure you give this video a like to connect with the energy. I would appreciate it. Always take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? So if this video find, found you, it's for good reason. It's for a purpose, all right? I don't believe in coincidences at all, all right? So let's see what spirit has. Clear and concise messages, please. What is the viewer need to know the most right now? And these are time, this is timeless. So whenever you see this, okay, it's meant for you, I promise you. Let's see what is given though. What is the viewer, please? What is the viewer need to know at this time? Okay. So we have incoming messages, all right? So we with the sun, the sun, physical expression, physical manifest, all right? So physically, I feel like there are certain messages that you are receiving soon, okay? There's something incoming. Usually with that word incoming, it means that there's the energy of forging, forging forward, basically, okay? So there's something coming towards you. Now, with messages, it doesn't have to be physical communication from someone. It can be. However, these messages could also come from the spirit. Like, it can come from your spirit guides, your spirit team. Um, there's like clarity that you're receiving that's on its way. It's basically saying to expect to receive a message, okay, to give you confirmation. So somebody here needs confirmation or they may need some type of like maybe thought form, confirmation for a thought form, for an idea. This could be something creative, okay? This confirmation is like letting you know what's needed for your next course of action, all right, in a situation. Now, like I said, this could be inspired by a thought form, an idea, a call, text, email, or letter, all right? Um, it could even be certain things that you see on your phone, see while traveling, all right? Certain synchronicities. This is going to be very significant. And I feel like this could be certain things in nature. I do see this beach imagery. So some of you guys could be going to the beach or you could be going to a park, um or just outside in nature okay both of these energies they're both outside all right is what i'm seeing with this some of you with the sun all right leo energy so this could be a message that is inspiring you to be more confident okay maybe in a creative endeavor a creative pursuit confident in expressing your creativity or your personality all right, this could also be significant maybe of your career. I see the sun and the moon out, so there's like an energy of balance here. Now, spirit is saying that there could be a time, maybe there's a need for a de uh, detox. Someone here may need to detox themselves here um, and going back outside, back into nature. It's like time to ground your energy. Um, Connecting with Mother Earth at this time, right now, the best action is to just allow things to marinate and just really connect with the Earth, connect with nature, connect with what's organic and natural, okay? Tapping into your inner strength and empowering yourself to overcome any challenges. I feel like there could be stubbornness in the air or certain situations in your life in general. They're saying sometimes the best thing that you can do is just wait and allow things to unfold naturally, allow things to grow naturally. The moon is exalted in Taurus, so your feelings and emotions could be attached to things of Taurus, like 
theme so it could be attached to maybe your love life maybe your relationships maybe your material possessions or certain material resources okay maybe it has to do with your values or self-worth what are what you know what area of your life are you lacking patience okay what area of life is stubborn or you do feel like isn't growing through your investments or through the seeds you've been planting okay you're saying time to anchor yourself back to reality and allow the confirmation to come to you in which it is Now, we have the path of least resistance. This energy here speaks of your choices and decisions, all right? Um, we have the overall energy, which is ether. So you guys need to know how connected to the source you really are, to your creator abilities, your creative abilities. You know, your connection to the creator, the creatress is really significant. They want you to open your ears and listen, all right? Your your true connection to your roots, your ancestors, your spirit guides are very much so so present and they are guiding you towards making the best decisions. Um I feel like right now it's time it's a time for you to slow down, reflect to heal anything in association with the, with Taurus, which is again your possessions, your self-worth, self-development. Um your money, finances, your relationships at this time here. You are more connected than you know or understand. They're saying that your choices, okay, changes things. They want you to choose wisely. Mars and Aries, your actions here. How you have been acting, how you have been asserting yourself. Also your desires. There's certain things that you guys desire to have with Taurus or desire to receive. Of value here. You're saying the choice is yours. They want you guys to choose wisely as you move forward. Okay, be mindful how, of how you're approaching certain situations, which is what I had mentioned. Wow, it's literally confirming exactly what I already said. Okay, things can always go left or right depending on the choices that's being made at this time. All right, you guys need to choose the path that aligns with your deepest desire and choose the path of least resistance here. Okay. One path has temptation and just overall distractions. The other is just more so truth, intuition, peace, safety, okay? The result that you're looking for depend, depends on the choice, okay? Now, they're showing me more Aries vibration. So, we have that fire energy with red, with this red vibration root, root chakra, Okay. And now Oshun is coming out along with, again, more Leo vibrations. So what I'm getting here, okay, you guys could be over excessive with your behaviors or it could be like a lot of impulsive behaviors right now and actions. This could be leading to burnout, okay, roadblocks, or just you're just feeling completely depleted, all right? So there's just a need for you to ground your energy that's why spirit is saying to ground your energy you will receive things as they naturally come okay also channeling with this taurus vibration you cannot rush nature basically okay there's an energy of rushing maybe rushing your choices rushing your decisions here rushing into certain situations being impulsive okay kind of like wanting something or maybe your desires to be rushed all action no breaks is what this is giving all right aries is a masculine energy you guys are too much in your masculine there's a masculine energy overload you cannot rush everything here take time out to really slow down and any impulsion is what is creating this frustration or you to be irritated angry or just aggressive um this is what is affecting your energetic state or your being or it could be affecting like you know, it could also be affecting other people around you, or there could also be the influences of this around you that is influencing you to act like this or provoking you. So in general, they just want you to be mindful of self here, be mindful of um, what you're being provoked by, the energy you're being provoked by, okay? 
which is this masculine. That's why Oshun is out, which is this divine, feminine, nurturing energy. Your solar plexus here, okay? Um, you need to embrace the essence of your beauty, your life force, okay? The things around you as far as the beauty of life in the present moment. The things that bring you joy, happiness, and abundance here. It's kind of like there's too much energy being invested towards things that don't make you happy or things that make you angry or frustrated or annoyed, okay? Or things that provoke you in, in a way. It's like they want you to expect more fun moments and a windfall of love and wealth. It's like your expectations that keep showing me expect, expect. So your expectations need to be transmuted because maybe you're expecting the worst and instead of expecting the best. Maybe that's why there's a little bit of indecisiveness or impulsive decisions you're making. It just really depends. There just needs to be a slowdown. I also see maybe someone in here needs to be making more content or maybe there's something that you do creatively i see leo out like three times so you have multiple talents is what they're saying okay you have multiple talents see even the overall energy says low frequency okay they're saying that you have multiple talents that is going to drive you at the top of your craft at the top of this creative pursuit or endeavor all right at the top of your career leo is in alignment with your career your career keeps coming out as well all right, maybe you're desiring to receive growth in your career or this creative endeavor or pursuit here, okay? They want you to continue to build on your desire, to continue to build up your courage and your confidence towards it. Um, I feel like you guys have been feeling really low. It's like you're allowing your energy to maybe be infiltrated in some way by just accepting fear and doubt when it comes to what you can and cannot do is what I'm getting. There's like a strong, constant focus on negative feelings, negative emotions here. They want you to continue to create with love. It's like they don't want you to doubt your talents. Like don't miss out on certain opportunities, doubting your talents and what you can and cannot do, like I had said. And, the, and then the law of polarity wanted to come out. So this is saying, like, they're saying there's two sides to everything. Someone may need to study the law of polarity maybe after this video, okay? But um, long story short, it's, your, it's duality, okay? Everything has its opposites. Um, everything has, there's two sides to everything, okay? Learn to accept the reality of things by detaching from labels here, okay? You know, there's opposites, hot and cold, good or evil, peace or war, yes or no, light and darkness here, okay? As above, so below, okay? You can transmute your energy every time from hate to love by just rising above your emotions, rising about above certain, you know, feelings, in regards to your desires because aries is out here twice you have leo out three times majority of the spread is indicating a lot of fire energy so the person that like I, i'm talking to you guys could be a fire sign you could be a fire sign aries leo sag or the fire in you is being activated that's for sure that is for sure after this i'm gonna pull with your ancestors just to see what they have to say um but i see you guys very active they want you to be careful and not to burn yourself out overworking um some of you guys are like you guys are very again active towards your career that's like the main thing that they keep pulling in for me or the things that you love in general the things that you're passionate about i'm picking that up a lot um but i feel like they don't want you guys to burn yourself out with doing too much you're doing just enough here i feel like that's also why taurus is out because there's certain insecurities that you're feeling about that there's certain insecurities that you're feeling about your investments in general and they want you to know that what you're doing, okay, is enough. 
Um, I feel like that's why this incoming message is coming in. That's why they're saying, that's why you guys need this confirmation. Okay. Let's see what else comes up for y'all. We'll pull, we'll pull two more from this deck. Yeah, water holds knowledge. Some of you guys may need more water, okay? You may need more water, more replenishment, maybe going near a body of water. Health is wealth. So some of you guys need to focus on your health mentally, physically, emotionally. Water is more so spiritual. So some of you may need to focus more so on your spiritual health. Um... I feel like there's certain memories that may be coming up soon here that's going to bring you a lot of insight. Yeah, they're saying to find a body of water, okay, as the universe aligns you with insights. Okay, so some of you may need to go near a body of water or maybe you will. And this is where there's the insights are going to flow in, okay, needed for your journey. Some of you may need to drink more water or speaking into your water before you drink it, asking for knowledge, asking for wisdom, asking for healing, okay. Putting into that, like putting in that intention in your water is very much so necessary. It's like your spirit team is guiding you towards fulfillment and just the wellness of your being and taking better care of yourself is very much so necessary. Okay. So expect new discoveries, new exploration, just new information through the element of water here. And, you know, after all of this fire energy, now I'm seeing water. So this has a lot to do with calm, safety, security, nurturance, self-care, you know. And it goes back to what I was saying, not burning yourself out here. I also feel like there's, you guys could be keeping yourself guarded or depriving yourself of just really true harmony especially surrounding maybe health and wellness even in the ancestors that come seeing poor diet some of you guys need to work on your diet okay they is not playing with you they is not playing with you something already wants to come out ancestors will have, will have a bone to pick with you whoever i'm talking to <laughs> let me just pick this up yeah cleanliness came out okay somebody may need to cleanse their home okay or cleanse themselves do not neglect cleanliness for too long okay it's connected to your state of mind and being so clean up work on clearing your space and just environment this can help with your productivity if there's been stubbornness laziness or you know um if there's been mental fog okay but be mindful of depriving yourself and staying in a comfort zone. It's like you guys dream a lot about what could be. But sometimes maybe you guys are feeling unmotivated or maybe you just don't. Um, it's like you guys are keeping your tra yourself trapped somewhere. Okay. It's like opportunities are waiting for you. And I feel like your spirit team is wanting to send you these opportunities, which they have already. But be mindful of settling, okay, in a situation, in certain feelings, in certain emotions. Guilt trip, yeah. You got Scorpio. So be careful of being guilt tripped into giving your power or energy away, all right? Water energy with Scorpio. Yeah, it says all it takes to play the game is awareness. You're battling energies, not people, all right? So remember, you're battling energies, not people. Powerful message, all right? Utilize your energy with structure and discipline and self-control. All of this is a game. They want you to perceive it as a game. See it as a game here. The influences of what you're feeling, it's not being, it's like, it's not the people around you. It's more so the energies that is being imposed that we're being influenced by. So they want you to be aware of that specifically right now. Yeah, because somebody here is obsessive or they're really controlling in the way that they do things here, okay? If this is you, they just want you to not focus on things that are out of your control because there is like a power struggle or there's struggle in general, all right? Um, there's like, I see obsession, impulsion, or just controlling tendencies in the air. This is what's driving you or another when it comes to you, all right? Somebody could be really like 
controlling when it comes to responsibilities, obligations, or physical means or resources. Or they could just be overall bossy. Okay, maybe this is towards you. The sun is out. So this is like a physical expression of energy. How somebody is physically expressing their personality here. All right. Also, the sun brings ego. Um, so ego and pride. So this could be either you or another. There's a need for boundaries. There's a need for structure and discipline. That's why they are mentioning structure and discipline and self-control here. Some of you, for some of you, you could be, it could be a parent. It could be in your career too, when you're trying to control too much. Yeah. Some of you could be a parent for real, because I'm seeing the son and daughter or daughter. Some of you, this could be a, your parent. A grandparent, an older person, uh, an authority figure in your life here. Okay, your childhood could be coming up, or or someone's son or daughter is coming up. You know, like your bloodline. Okay, You're bringing um, recognition to your bloodline. Some of you could have either, like, you could actually have children, like a son or a daughter. Be mindful of being that controlling parent or being, you know, um, trying to control, over control your kids or children. But let's go into closing messages. What needs to be the focus, please, for the collective? For them right now. All right, the focus needs to be your education, learning, all right, expanding on your knowledge, your wisdom, expanding on universal information, um, really relying on your higher mind, really focusing on your spiritual growth here, traveling here so you can experience um, other culture, cultural um, backgrounds, or also, too, they want you to focus on your belief system, all right? Your beliefs, your faith is important right now for your spiritual growth. Focus on things that yield physical, like physical, spiritual, emotional, just as a whole growth and expansion for you. Higher learning, higher education. Also paying attention to certain synchronicities here and also expanding when it comes to your own yourself here. Okay, they want you to more so expand on your confidence, on your leadership qualities and abilities, on your pioneering energy. All right, be bold, confident, creative, and, and ambitious and motivated here within how you express yourself. See, the positive aspects of Aries is coming out now. Yeah, tenth out. Wow, I'm so. Ooh, wow. On point, ain't it? It came out, y'all. It literally came out. Like, literally. The 10th house came out. And look, Taurus on the bottom. Synchronicity. Wow. Okay. So, again, your career, when it comes to your authority, when it comes to your reputation in public life, in your career, your goals, your responsibilities, your achievements here. Okay. Allow things. Take your time. Be strategic continue to build it up continue to be structured and disciplined but also to release things out of your control here not to be over impulsive and overwork yourself here okay they want you to prioritize your career they want you to prioritize it all right and continue to expand on your creative pursuits here and continue to be motivated towards it here okay but also more discipline and structure with your actions and certain indulgences as well so your career needs to be the focus, okay? Your effort and how, what you're building uh, for long-term, like your long-term goals, that needs to be the focus here. Look, and the sun came out. Listen, you guys need to focus on more positive um, expectations surrounding this area of your life at this time. How you're f expressing yourself about this area of your life is significant too, is important. Being confident in this, being empowered when it comes to this is really, really important, all right? Definitely let me know if this resonated by giving me a like. I would appreciate a comment and even a subscribe. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This was a beautiful message. I enjoyed it. 
But um, until next time, whenever you're watching this day or night, bye for now.